This is the seventh video log for recruits. First, have a listen to the new sounds for our minigun. One of the good things about having the squad mates with your recruits is the ability to gain control over one of them once your main character dies. This feature gives you a fighting chance against the AI to successfully complete your mission. Weapons are not transferred across, but rather dropped, and the new player character receives an XP bonus or promotion as he is now the leader of the squad. If you die again, you control another squad member, and so on, until there are none left where at that point, you can either restart the level, or just rage quit. The idea behind this is, depending on how many squad mates you have, determines the amount of lives you have for that current level. For example, I have three squad mates in this level, so I've got three lives. Once you use up all your squad mates, it's not the end of the game. You'll still have plenty more recruits to go through. The amount of these recruits you have left will determine the lives you have in other missions. We're also going through and adding specific missions to recruits. Here I'm showing a basic rescue mission. Once the mission is activated, you need to walk up to the prisoner and press the E key to free them. They will then follow you to the end location of the mission, where they will be saved and you will successfully complete the mission. If a prisoner gets killed, somehow, well, you fail that mission. Thanks for watching, hope you like this week's updates, keep an eye out for more. See you next time.